And now I'm going to pray. And um, for those, some of you um, don't know, Reverend Judy's grandson was in a, a motorcycle crash. Oh. He is a racer and he is in serious condition. He's not in critical condition, but he's still, so I'm going to include him first of all in the prayer. His name is Gage. And then all of us. So let's just uh, center in the divine. And in the centering, what I know is that that thing that is life is all around me, above me, below me, with me, through me, as me, and for me. And I know what I know for myself, I, I know for each and every other person. And I begin first and foremost with knowing the well-being of Gage Shearer, Reverend Judy's grandson, for that whole family, for his mother Carrie, his father Brian, for Reverend Judy, for June, everyone in that family that each one of them will see the truth of this one, as I am seeing right now, that he is healed, whole, healthy, complete. That the body temple in which he resides is, is blessed, is a blessing, it's responding to treatment and the, the consciousness around it is shifting into safety, well-being, <sighs> excitement and adventure coming in all sorts of positive and wonderful ways so that this one lives his life fully, lives his life freely, doing what he loves to do. I know that this is already his just as I know for each one of us and myself that what I want wants me. And I get my bloated nothingness out of the way of the divine circuits and I allow that presence of God within me to show me what it is that I really must do, that I really must know, that I really must be. And standing in that place of magnificence, of power, of perfect well-being, perfect memory, perfect intellect. I know that the divine mind is my mind. I know that the divine love is my love. I know that the divine presence is my presence. I know that that presence allows the creativity to flow through me in magnificent ways, in new ways, in greater ways. These things and greater I shall do. Promised by the Master Teacher Jesus, I accept it for myself and for each one of us. And with my heart filled with gratitude and knowing that the word I've spoken is a word of power, I let it go and please help me anchor it by saying with me, and so it is.